When you focus on the breath, you've got to make up your mind you're going to stay right here. That means each breath coming in, you remind yourself, this breath, this breath, this breath. The determination applies here, too. This is an important principle to remember when you're making a determination. There are four qualities that the Buddha recommended. One is that you start out with some discernment, figure out, well, what do you really need to determine in your life? To remind yourself that your life really is shaped by your determinations. If you just go through life with whatever, your life doesn't really go in any any direction. It's like those little motes of dust in the in the air that get blown this way, blown that way, but they don't have any direction of their own. If you want your life to have some meaning, if you want your life to have some accomplishments, you've got to make up your mind that you want something really, really strongly, and you're going to do what's needed to do it. So you have to first look at what's worthwhile, what would be a good thing to determine. And in every case, you want to fo focus first on your mind. What qualities of mind are you lacking? Those are the things that are, really are important to develop in life. You develop things outside. You develop your own body. Those things last for a while, and then they change. But if you develop the mind, okay, that's something that really sticks with you. Once you've decided that this is where you want to develop things, okay, then you ask yourself, well, where, am, where do you still have some weak points? What can you focus on? This, too, is a factor of discernment. Then you figure out what needs to be done. Once you know what needs to be done, then you really stick with it regardless. You decide this is, really is important and you're not going to let any other things get in the way. That's the quality of truthfulness. And then there has to be some relinquishment as well. You'll have to learn how to give up certain things. Because if you want something really strongly, you're going to have to give extra time to that, which means that time has to be taken away from other things. So make sure it gets taken away from things that don't really matter all that much. And this is where you have to establish your priorities really clearly as to what stays and what goes. Then the fourth quality, though, the Buddha recommends is calm. That while you're doing this, you've got to keep your mind on an even keel. In other words, when you have minor setbacks, you don't let them get you upset. And when you start thinking about the, all the things you have to give up, you don't let yourself get upset. You remind yourself of the good things that are going to come from sticking to, to your determination. So as we meditate, this is giving us good practice and establishing us good, solid determination in the mind. You're going to stay with the breath, and you're really going to stick with that determination. Anything else that comes up in the mind, you're just going to let it go, let it go, let it go. And you try to keep your mind calm as you're doing this. In other words, when the mind slips off, you don't engage in recrimination. You just bring the mind right back and just get right back to work. And this way, your determination really does make a difference, and it really does change your life. So make sure you choose your determination with discernment and with some wisdom, and then follow through with it with some truthfulness. And that way you really do benefit from the fact that you have this ability to shape your life, so shape it in a good direction.